Hi Libra Dragons, welcome to your bonus reading for June 2021. I have drawn out four um, cards just to get us going with the overall energy. We have the Page of Cups in the upright, the World in Reverse, the Nine of Cups in Reverse, and the Three of Swords in Reverse. So it seems like you are really stuck um, <clears throat> with, you're not getting over somebody who, um, it seems like it was a love that never quite got to start right so it's like it's like this start again stop again start again stop again and I think it's because you've been heartbroken in the past so <clears throat> I really get the energy that you are actually getting over a heartbreak so I get yeah because your world's in reverse you're not a cups is in reverse so I really get the feeling like um, like you had this opportunity for new love but it sort of didn't happen and it's because you were still completing a cycle of getting over this heartbreak, whatever this was, right? So um, you're sort of, you're releasing it and you're, you're getting forgiveness for it, or you're not getting forgiveness, you're forgiving yourself. Well, maybe you're giving forgiveness as well, right? So, um, but, uh, so, the world in the reverse and the nine of cups in the reverse i feel like it has to do with whoever this three of swords was reverse but i feel like this page of cups is um somebody completely um somebody completely uh different right like it's like this this page is over here going hey you know i you know I, i'd like to you know be happy with you i'd love to uh you know start something with you but you're you're too here right and so you're stuck in this sort of finagling so let's see what the cards have to say for libra let's pull out some more energy but you are getting over it okay so who knows maybe maybe it's not too late maybe that person's still there saying hey yeah, so over the page of cups says rest and rejuvenate. So maybe they're also working through some stuff too. And they're just taking a little break. Um, maybe you had tried to offer um, somebody um, a beginning. And um, and then you, you discovered that you weren't quite ready for it, right? Yeah, those don't have anything to do with it. I was, they flipped over, and I was like, hmm. Wow, there's a lot of cards flying out for you guys. Um, let's just get one more shuffle. Okay, so let's see what we have. So, way back, way back in the beginning, we have Shadow, which is the moon. Um, so it was, um, so now it came out sideways and a lot of, I know people either go up, upright or reverse. I like sideways cards because it sort of shows that, um, there's like, there's two sides of the story, right? So because every card does have positive and negative aspects to it, or there are two sides to it, but with the moon card, it's like, I feel that there was in this situation, um, it just shows sort of like, I see this as twos, getting twos, like having to make a choice, maybe you're not, right? So there's, you know, like you're working at releasing fear. You know that it causes you unhappiness. You're seeing the truth, but you still have fearing and anxiety. It's sort of like there's a lot of stuff going on with this back here. Now, because it's before the Page of Cups, and this is talking about, you know, going back, I really have a feeling like, you had a lot to go through with whatever this relationship is that caused you issues. Yeah, so you have uh, your hope uh, in the reverse. So this is your star card. So under your world in the reverse, you sort of have, um, you just really didn't have faith because it's also crossing over the page of cups. So I really see that what this is doing is it's like you were sort of, you weren't really in the mind space for this page of cups to be there, right? It's like it kind of happened and then it brought out all these things and it just was not good timing, right? So, yeah, and so what it is, 
you don't think if you move towards this person, you don't think that you're going to be celebrating or that you're going to be victorious, right? Because you already wanted that with this current situation and you don't see it with this other page. Oh, there's two cards here. So <laughs> underneath the three of swords, now it's fairly far. So I'm like, mm, it might be sort of, um, it's going to happen. Okay. So is um, sacrifice and the universe, which is that you have completed. So here your world's in reverse, right? So you sort of keep going backwards. You haven't completed it. When you get closure, you're going to be seeing things from a new perspective. Okay. You're going to be sort of reaching up through the ground and it might feel like it's a sacrifice, but what I'm seeing here is, so when you have heartbreak, right? Like it's right in the heart, right? It's like, sometimes you feel like you can just tear it out of your chest or you want to, to get rid of it. I want to show you this card. It's actually quite beautiful. Her heart is open, right? Like she is reaching to the sky. Her heart is open. She's just like, and it's not, I don't see sacrifice in a oh, giving something up. I see sacrifice in a giving something up, right? It's you're moving beyond all of this. And this is a beautiful energy. Now I want to just take note. You have a lot of major arcana that's come out here. Okay. So it's almost like you were sent back to take care of this so that you could move forward. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get some more cards. Let's see if we can continue with this because I have a strong feeling you know what this is. So I could pull out a million cards. Hopefully they don't want to, but we could pull out a million cards to keep reiterating the situation for you. But um, let's, let's see if we can get some forward movement energy, especially because these are major arcana. Yeah, you don't think you're going to be successful. Okay, so you got to get over that. Okay, because that came out in the reverse. So, but I don't, I don't, I really don't get the feeling like that's what they're saying is that you're not going to be successful. I get the feeling, huge feeling, because it all falls under the hope card that, um, that you don't think you are. And you've put yourself into solitude, which is not a bad thing. Okay, so you've sort of gone into go soul searching, but I think that you need to make sure that you stay on the positive side of things. Okay, so you need to stay positive, right? So think, it's really ask yourself, why do I think, okay, why do I think that I don't deserve this? So it's funny because I've never had, okay, okay, yeah. So it's funny because spiritual union came in the reverse and I was told to flip it over and then try it again. And I just flipped it over. I didn't even realize what was happening. So sometimes when cards come out one way, it's just, it's like, no, this was supposed to come out this way. So this is going to, so your throat chakra um, is in the reverse here. Um, it's like your, once, once you, your throat chakra is all about communication. Okay, it's, um, it's sort of like the epitome of a swords cards, right? So it's about communication and um, openness and, um, and speaking your truth. And right now, um, I think that once you actually get your throat chakra in control, you're actually going to find your spiritual union. You're going to find um, a connection with whatever situation this is. Now, I know right off the bat I said sort of, I implied romantic. It could easily be, again, like a career. It's something, a matter of the heart, okay? It could be anything, right? So emotions are emotions. <laughs> We're emotionally connected in everything we do, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Some of us aren't. <laughs> that's another, that's another whole channel that needs to be developed, and I'm sure there's a thousand of them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you need to develop wisdom, okay? So you need to, you need to, as you develop, go into the hermit mode. 
wisdom will bring you to this, right? So it's about, so there's, um, in yoga, okay, um, there is things such as right knowledge and wrong knowledge, okay? Wrong knowledge is knowledge that doesn't do you any good, okay? So it's anything that you do sort of for entertainment, it's anything that you do for, and yeah, it passes the time, but really it doesn't do your soul any good. It's just a distraction, right? Right knowledge is um, sort of like learning about yourself and growing and letting things go. But here's the thing is, right knowledge can easily become wrong knowledge if it's not put into practice or if you become attached to it. So you need to make sure that you're always growing and saying, does this really serve me? Right? Like, really. So, any other cards? Come on. Let's get some more cards for Libra. Yeah. It just got a little messy. Let's see. Forgiveness. And it's funny because you do need to forgive the situation or whatever. But I, when I first saw this, I've actually never seen this card before, which is funny. Um, what I see is, look. So there's something called, um, I'm going to say it wrong, so please forgive me, um, hopo, hopo no, hopo no no, hopo po no no, um, and it's about um, forgive, um, talking to your inner child and asking your inner child to forgive you. So it's like, please forgive me, please forgive me for what I've done to you, please. And this is what I see, is I see the rhinoceros as you. And I see this is your inner child and you're giving it a hug, okay? So you're really embracing you, right? You're embracing your subconscious. I hope that makes sense to you guys. But look it up. There's tons of meditations um, on YouTube. Um, and it's, an, it's a beautiful um, meditation, actually. H-O-P-O. P-O-N-O-N-O, Hopoponono, I forget, guys. Anyways, look, it'll it'll pop up because it's such a strange word, right? You'll, you'll find it. So let's move on and get a advice. Is that the card? This is the card. Aw, aw, Ocean of Eternal Love. You guys are getting a lot of cards. I've used some of these decks for a very long time, and I don't really, I like to be surprised. I've had this deck for years and years and years. I have never seen this card. Ocean of Eternal Love, okay? Number 44, so the number four is about stability and order, right? Healing, creativity, and fertility, okay? So fertility doesn't mean that you're gonna get pregnant, but <laughs> just be careful, okay? So let's see, come on, 44, ready? Ocean of eternal love. It is said that love conquers all. This is especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable. The timing is right. A new creation awaits you. A birth of something new brings you joy and excitement. The forever changing seasons of eternity turn their visible wheel and a new cycle begins oh a new image is born ready here's your affirmation love heals love brings resolution love conquers love creates and love is eternal okay my beautiful libras that is your reading please like i appreciate the love and i will see you guys next time Bye, guys.